Okay, uh, starting out this week, I uh, went ahead and uh, I didn't film it, but I went ahead and finished up this side as far as um, this underpiece here. It closes out that uh, lower uh, uh, roll pan area. And the other thing I had to do while I was uh, trying to finalize this structure is uh, this one inch piece of 049 tube that stretches from side to side. So when you disassemble it, these 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 ends are not flailing around. This is all one. Then now this becomes one assembly here. Um, anyway, the way I've fastened it to the car is I have a couple of little um, eighth inch brackets here that just they tuck up on the upper side. There's a couple of holes here in the radiator core supports, just sheet metal. But anyway, this is tapped, and uh, these uh, are just quarter 20s that are put through this uh, these two tabs um, and that holds it and stabilizes it and this will be where I attach the bottom panel here that's going to cover this entire area it's going to attach to this bottom rim here and of course it's going to come over here but um, I'm going to have to take the tires off right now and get into the uh, the wheel uh, plastic wheel tub enclosures and see where they end up because what I'd really like to do is to bring that this plastic shield that I'm going to make uh, over to cover these lines so these are not exposed to uh, anything coming up off the road and um, the same with this over here so I have to figure out how this uh, bottom pan is going to interface with those uh, inner wheel tubs so uh, a little bit more crawling around and uh, hopefully pretty soon we can just take this whole assembly off and put it on the bench finish welding it up and uh, get it primed and painted and then move on to uh, taking the nose off doing that also and uh, well the nose has a lot of work to do yet I have to build the uh, I have to build the drop down doors and the mechanism and everything that, that goes on with that um, so that's that's got quite a bit of more work to, fabricating to do um, but uh, so anyway I'll stop babbling and get back to work okay so I've got the uh, the inner wheel tubs in there just temporarily. I'm not going to work on those right now. As you can see, they need to be extended quite a bit. This is to give you an idea how much wider this car is than the uh, Challenger um, that we're basing it off of, and also uh, quite a bit larger than um, the stock 68 69 uh, Charger on my car. I barely had to put any kind of an extension. In fact, I ended up trimming a lot of this at the bottom uh, in order to fit them in. And uh, you can see this is a pretty wide gap. It's probably, you know, looks like almost three inches there that has to be filled in with uh, ABS plastic to complete the uh, inner wheel tub. At any rate, the only reason I had to put these in was because this uh, termination point right here, which will finish out where that lower... A panel that I'm about to uh, make a pattern for uh, ends up here just uh, below the cooler and uh, so I needed that to uh, make my pattern and uh, that's what I'm about to do okay uh, <coughs> after uh, taking a look at this um, I want to make these closure panels right here that are underneath the coolers on both sides over to the radiator I want to make those in separate pieces. They're just it's too much convolution going on here. Um, it'd be easier just, it's going to be uh, uh, unwieldy to try and fish all of this in and get this all attached over here. If this panel's one piece, this is a pretty large piece from uh, this uh, one inch tube forward. A nice simple flat piece. We're going to, we're going to deal with that first. Uh, get involved with this. I have to get involved with the wheel tubs and all. That's a whole other separate project. I want to stay focused on uh, getting this this uh, lower valance taken down and welded up and finished and cleaned up. And same with the nose. I want to finish welding that up. And this is going to take me severely off the trail dealing with this right now. So I'm going to use this as a logical dividing line right here. Mount the panel forward. And then I can take this whole lower uh, valance piece off and uh, and deal with that. All right, so uh, this is the structure out from underneath the car. Um, as you can see, I've got these tabs here that sit up on top of the um, existing radiator core support so that 
basically you feed these two tabs in and then roll the whole thing up and then secure it at the front a couple of holes here and uh, and then of course the, across these uh, this is this part of the plastic reel so this is actually the steel so this is actually the real support for this whole section and these are really just holding the grill in place from rattling around then there's going to be two bolts through these two side flanges into the fenders themselves right where these uh, holes are where I have temporarily just put eighth inch holes to put some self tapping screws in and uh, this will be the dividing line for the bottom panel that I'm going to make now um, but anyway um, that's out of the car. I have a few more things that I have to do to kind of make this structure just a little bit more rigid so that it comes out and, you know, doesn't flex too much. But um, that's about it. Um, time to move on. Okay, so there's a couple days' work just tacking that all together and grinding it all off. But uh, as you can see now, this is a uh, this is one solid piece that can be lifted and installed without worrying about uh, twisting and flexing it and uh, not especially not worrying about breaking the plastic grill that attaches to the back side of this uh, at, at uh, most points up to now that plastic grill was what was keeping it straight and in shape um, and uh, now all that's this is all independent of that and the grill will just uh, attach uh, the way it should not relying uh, on itself to hold itself straight because uh, well you get the point. At any rate, um, uh, it's time to go on from here. I've got to uh, reinforce this area here a little bit more. Uh, it's a little flimsier than I want it to be. And then um, I'll, I'll proceed to make this uh, lower panel and get that uh, cut out of the uh, uh, 3 sixteenths um, ABS plastic. Anyway, um, that's where I'm at. Okay, so uh, this is what the ABS panel looks like, just screwed to the bottom of this uh, structure here. And um, the orange tape is basically, because I'm working with a black surface to uh, make my marks for my drill holes and everything a little bit more obvious. It makes the layout a little bit easier. Anyway, that uh, pretty much uh, finishes that part of it. Um, that's just going to close that in, and that's going to help keep the road debris from going up into the bottom of the radiator and the condenser and the coolers and everything like that so um uh the next thing i have to do is i have to reinforce this front a little bit more because it's just sheet metal and a little bit of 3 8 tubing i want to beef it up just a tick more and then um probably throw some uh high build or excuse me some k2 primer on it and uh I'll call it done Well, in the area of I spoke too soon, I uh, was putting this finished this uh, reinforcement flange in here, which basically doubles this up a little bit, and um, basically comes up the hill and then backs into this lower flange here because this was just a piece of sheet metal, similar to what it is from here on out. Um, wanted to reinforce this this front lip a little bit more, so I did that, um, which I had planned to do, but then I started to look at these. I uh, was using uh, the tech screws or sheet metal screws that was going to hold on that bottom black panel, and I thought better of it. I thought, well, maybe I need to uh, uh, get some strength into these areas where they get screwed it in, and um, instead of just going through sheet metal and possibility of them stripping out, especially here on this leading edge here where this is where the force of the air is going to be the most, uh, I've decided to go ahead and I added these um, these little pieces of eighth-inch uh, steel on the back side of where these mounting holes are going to be and now I'm going to drill them out and tap them out for a, uh, a 1024 oval head screw uh, stainless steel screw and um, so I went along here and I slit this open and slid the same same plating in and I rosette welded them in there so I have a surface uh, excuse me a sub subsurface that's a little bit thicker so I can tap it right directly into those with something a little more substantial than sheet metal screws. I still have to do the stuff on the back side there. In the intermediate area here, sheet metal screws will be fine. This is a much thicker wall material than the sheet metal was out front. So they should be fine across this intermediate area here and the two 
forward facing sections of this, uh, these two uh, closures that I have yet to make. Um, but on the edges, I'd like to have something a little more st substantial. And that's where I'm at with this. Okay, <clears throat> so I've got all these uh, tapped in with, like I said, 1024s. And um, way happier with that than what I had here. Sheet metal screws on the bottom side wasn't, wasn't a winner. There's a chance of stripping them out. And with something like this, where the leading edge is going to be into the wind, you don't want this thing flapping like the sole of a shoe. Uh, so, uh, anyway, got that uh, done. Now I've got to prep it for some, uh, some K2 primer. And then we'll move on. Okay, so I just uh, shot this with a black 2K primer. Uh, this uh, this U-pole stuff here. Um, and anyway, uh, that's good to uh, put a barrier between the air and uh, the steel. Keep it from rusting. Anyway, um, I shot the hood also. Uh, I just scuffed that with a little bit of um, scotch right there to just knock it down a bit to see what kind of surface I ended up having. Uh, and turned to look, look to look a little gray, but you know, it's a little smoother to the touch than it was. This I'm going to leave without scuffing it up because we want to see what this is going to look like underneath the car. Um, so I'll just leave it. You can see that it uh, it scuffs with your fingers. That's why I kind of scuffed this one up, smooth it out a little bit. Anyway, that's what the hood's looking like, which I'm pleasantly surprised. It doesn't look lumpier than that, but. Uh, at any rate, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I started with the arduous task of welding up the nose around the perimeter and grinding it off. And I'm about halfway done. I've got this side in the front and the center seam and around the top. I haven't started that side yet, but um, it's not looking too awful. Um, but uh, back's killing me from hanging over it, but it's part of the deal. Anyway, um, I'd like to uh, say that I appreciate everybody who's watching, and uh, that's all the time I have uh, for this week, and I will see you on the next one.